Party on te 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 on te te. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Oh uh, yeah, man, how you doing? On, you good? On, I know you like that. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing. I know oh, you like that. How long you been back, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I see welcome the girls. Back. Some of the tools you're gonna need when applying your lashes are. You're gonna need your lashes first. That's the most important thing. And then a good pair of tweezers. You're also gonna need some lash glue. And if you're not good with applying lashes and you're not new to it, you can get your phone and then have a timer on it to set like for 30 seconds or for like a minute, depending on how long you wanna leave yours for. When you apply your lashes, you wanna apply mascara to your eye before. Because when you apply the mascara after, you kind of tend to, like, you're bound to take off the lashes that you just applied. The lashes I'm using are the Ardell lashes and um, the Studio Effects one, number 231. That's what it looks like, just to show you again. And then the first thing you want to do is measure it on your eye to see if it needs to be trimmed, if it's a perfect fit. Far from what I'm seeing, according to my calculations, it's perfect fit. So I'm not gonna cut it. And when you wanna apply your lashes, you wanna apply your lashes in like a upward motion. If you apply it straight, it doesn't really do the job of giving you that dramatic effect, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna apply mine like so. I'm gonna place it onto my eyelid like so. Gently across. You don't wanna apply too much. And the goal when you're applying your lashes, you wanna you wanna have the glue, you wanna have a little bit more glue on the end because that's the part that's the most important part. You don't want your lashes sticking out. And I tend to like just make sure I spread it out evenly. I don't want one part to have too much in the middle, so I spread it out. It should look like so. Let it air dry for like 30 seconds or a minute, probably a minute. So it's why I like to feel secure. And you do not want to blow on this. No, don't do this. Because all the germs, you're going to put that in your eye. You don't want to get yourself sick and then have a like, oh, messed up, busted eye. We don't want that. I'm going to take it and then place it right on top. Like, literally right on top. And I'm going to take my tweezer and get the end. Ooh, don't do that. And then literally place it right down there. And I get the front and I place it down. Now I'm just pushing everything in and securing it in. Cause I don't want it to look like it's there and really it's not. Cause that's the worst. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press that in with my own lashes to blend up. And so when I look up, it's not like, girl, I am gonna apply a little bit of mascara, but the mascara I'm gonna apply compared to what I applied before I put the lashes on is a, is a lot different because I'm not just re I'm not just like applying for the first time to make everything blended. It's just to tint it and make sure it's blended in with the color of the lashes. But look at this eye, and then look at this eye. It's like sis, sis, sis. And then you wanna have a mirror you can look down and see. And you just wanna place it, like let it just sit there. And like I said, I take the glue. I mean the lash and place it at that end and then I take the front one and I place it right there. Boy don't be killing my boy don't be killing my 